Welcome back to my Let's Play Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Today we have... Diaboramon. Yet yeah, another Boss Digimon, the second in our series of Boss Digimon that are going to <laughs> wonderfully, wonderfully, and hilariously blast through the entirety of campaign mode. So Diaboramon has a couple of very, very snowball attacks, like most Digimon do. Or most Boss Digimon do, that is. One of them, as the computer has actually demonstrated to us, is the up special. This. So you can do that. That's, the hitbox line is so big, by the way. I'm not sure if you noticed yet. I noticed earlier. The hitbox line is so huge. Interesting walk. That I was breaking the ground by using my upwards attack. Also, that's... Go away, Agumon. Go away! I saw it go away, Agumon. So, I believe what my... You know, like, you see it there. I believe what my Ultra does, my neutral special, is it... That range is crazy. And it flows into each attack so quickly. I believe what... You know, can you pick that up? Actually, I might be able to show you now. I believe that attack does. My ultra is it digivolves or d digivolves everyone. I feel like data's gonna pop up. I can't really show that. Let me get up here. We're gonna do that. Might as well just attack him more to get more data. Or shot my charge attack. There you go, data. Of course, you need a lot, but... No, no. So your charge attack it just throws your arms out in a really awkward manner. It goes up pretty darn far if you charge it fully. Like that! That'd be beautiful. <laughs> My god! Now we're Braymon! Oh, fire versus fire. Damn it! No, give me data! Of some sort. And don't die. What? That can also just appear inside of me, that's fine too. My hitbox is so big that I managed to pick that thing up all, well, way up there. Anyways, I don't know if this attack digi digivolves anybody within its attack radius or if it just does it to everyone. Which is kind of the problem because I know if I actually hit Greymon with it right now, I'm not winning the match. And now we have to be about done. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty darn powerful, isn't it? I'd say that's a good deal powerful than a lot of the other ultras we've found so far. Go away. Such a dumb looking throw too, but it works. That's not everything there is to be seen from. Why did I skip that? That's not everything there is to be seen from your Boromon either. Oh man, I didn't even lose any points for anything. I think I'll go up against Omnimon. So, here we go. On. Boop, 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 boop. So I have at least two more attacks to show off too, though. One is my down special. Ready, Dramatic music. Chanting. Which you just spam the triangle button for. Another special attack button. And it does that. Forever. So I don't realize it's gonna be kind of powerful, especially having to have Iron Fist. Oh my God! Your Boromon is ridiculously overpowered. Come on, is that all? Is that all you have to show? Oh, is Pokemon gonna get? 
clever? No. <laughs> I threw Beamon up like a ball and just whacked him to the bat. Oh no, I see now being clever. Just get a ton of air. With your up special. Now I also didn't show Dearborn Monzo an interesting down attack. It's this roll. It does a lot of damage actually if I remember right. If nothing else, it has a lot of hits. I think it's gonna last. Oh, look at that. Shielded. Your friend with your body. You're no match for this! Try me! You're totally in a position to actually get at me right now. But I can I do it? Okay. Oh, look at you! Man, you are bulking up! Getting all your buffs. Come on, try. Try your hardest. Right, you can also move while using this attack, like I am right now. Oh man, how many extra lives have to be here? Come on. My official length in your fight. Or can you not? No, I have bigger pyro than you do. Be quiet. What do you say to this? Boom. If anything, the downside to this, I guess, is just that it's so effective that you may pretty much instantly give your, some of your opponents enough data to just fall. You there, how do you stop being invincible? <laughs> I was wondering if there would eventually be any reaction whatsoever. Bop, come on, die from the lab already. Bop, bop. I start thinking something so weak. Yeah. Really, really weird. Stretchy win animation is also worth the trouble. So, no, 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 no one hit wonder this time. Many, many hits were seen. I can confirm that. I guess I was gonna go up against Omnimon. I have plenty of options if I go to Steamworks, don't I? I guess I do. I'll go down here. So, shall we? Vimon. I'll try to avoid just spamming that entire that attack for the entirety of this episode, but it's kind of difficult to resist in certain situations. Knockout battle. Survive until the end to win. Pretty sure I can hit Tintamon right now. Ready, Watch this. Yep, look at that. It's Tintamon up there, I can actually. Wow. No, oh, Tentamon just cannot take it. Actually, so it does turn out that, uh... Oh man, I'm being serious now. So it does end up turning out, though, that Gear Moron cannot throw Digimon very far. Guys! Even if I'm up here. See, now we're near as far as we're like Duskmon. I'm not gonna stun you. I didn't actually intend to do that at all, but it worked. Come on. Enter my domain. Boom! No, you don't. Bomb. 
really. Come on, I even let you have the little thing on the right. Yeah, see? Use it. Go ahead. No. Sure? You win. Intelligence at its finest! The way to live of these Digimon is absolutely amazing. Oh no, pants! I've had pants. Where did this happen? Uh, I can go up or down. I haven't been Danger Gulch in a while. So I might as well experience as much of a variety of stages as I can as my time as Dear Roman, as I intend to value it greatly, as I have been doing so far. For some reason, I've kind of come to almost associate Flamemon with this place, with Danger Gulch. I guess it's just because of the color schemes. I feel like I see them here a lot. Switch to your on through better. I wish it didn't look so dumb. I wish I actually did more. How to be more effective. How much. I didn't even pay attention to how much damage I was doing to Biomon right then. It was evidently a lot. No, nope, you missed. <laughs> Whoops. Nobody's going to bother me all of a sudden. Normally, normally these guys can not get enough of trying to hit me. See, there you go. Actually, actually get lots of hits when you use that attack. I think what you can do actually is chain into a combo pretty well. If I bother trying. I'm trying somewhere where I'll end you know, up hitting something else like that. So I like, huge range of my hand things. Guys, come on! DHS actually punch someone. Normally. Oh, that was interesting. Using another evolving Digimon's cover. Oh, that's an interesting graphical witch. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. But oh, that was just how that particular Digimon held. Our Digimon. Care to be iron fisted? Apparently not! Try me! I'll look at you. Intelligent, aren't you? Gamon was also pondering the ranged attack option. What are you even trying to do? This AI is confused. There's a huge device up there. I can buy mash buttons all day. I've been playing Panzer Dragoon Orta for a week. My button mashing is top notch. Or at least the stamina. Fuck! Oh come on, you! Uh, no! Oz, go. You know what? I don't need to evolve for anything, so it's not a problem for me. Go away. You said this would be a problem for me. Oh well. I see. Nobody here has standards anymore, going just how much we're spamming ram stuff at each other. I kind of, yeah, I was. Doing it a bit too long, I can't just pick that up. You know what? I'm proud of you. Go away. Oh, I can actually damage anything like that. Oh, well. Fear that would also damage my opponent, but. I keep forgetting this game has a weird invisibility for me sometimes. Oh, well. Then 10 fight happen. I'll do that it digi device up there, but fine. I have to ruin all my fun. Pants? Rat snack. I don't know what that one is. I don't even heard of that one. Doing something new every day. Thank you, Diaboromon. You taught me something. Raytree Falls. This would be a nice one, I'm sure. Did evolution. I just feel like I don't go here much either. It's because it never pops up in the higher level campaign stuff, I think. You can never actually go with three other Digimon, I don't think. Which makes me kind of sad. Ready, 
this is fair. If you do not have similar weights, oh, look at that. Bubble shield is actually deflecting things by being a bubble. Yeah, if you don't have similar weights, <laughs> this is incredibly unfair. Have fun. Try me. Missed. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed again, Flame On. Oh, no, go on, you missed. You missed. Can't pick up health, apparently. Oop. What are you trying now? Come on. Try! Jerk. Take down this guy. As a response to your unacceptable behavior. Boom! Oh wow. Oh yeah, because I'm doing so much damage to everyone, I'm actually making data up here. It's not a normal thing to see here. I can't really pick it all up in one bounce either. How much use my reach attack from here? It's not gonna happen. I've accepted this. Please accept things too. See? It's helpful when you do. What even just happened there? How did you take out Flame Mod just now? Did you know that's like something I'm okay with as well? Oh, could I not be attacked by multiple Digimon at the exact same time? So I'm get the device. I want it to happen. Give me a moment for breathing at least. Oh, that's actually a nice, cool looking floating attack. Come on, go up there. You know what I say to this? Say! For one, let me use my darn attack. Now, it makes things a little bit more favorable. I can pick up any of this data just sitting here. Alright. Good choice. So, I gotta care if I invincibility either. It's your choice. Alright, come on. It's all your choice. You do what you want. Sure, go ahead. Come on. There you go. That's what you need. Yep. You can actually, I believe, I've never tried this. Oh. I didn't try it in this playthrough, but I believe you can actually stick something up against the wall with that attack as well. I think it might eventually bounce upwards if you do it that way, but it happens rarely enough that I'm pretty sure you just stick something up against the wall with that attack, and it'll pretty much just kill them. Because let's see how I stack up against Omnimon. Overpowered. It's overpowered. If everybody's overpowered, nobody's overpowered. This is the brawl minus of. Digimon. I'm uncomfortably close to this ledge. Aha! Apparently that pierces projectiles. Why does it seem to have happened so often with these Digimon or these uh, boss fights? Jumping in the air and having both of us hit each other at the same time. I don't want to try out that thing. I try out the thing. I get to try out the thing. Storm platform is not helping. I want to try out that 3 hit combo of mine. You will have to charge this for a long time though to get any real range with it. It's kind of annoying. Just to combo that beautifully into a nice little free flow type deal. What was that? There's only so much data here. Oh no! Lightning. How many don't put up lightning? Okay, so apparently I ended up being the only one had to put up with the, or For some reason, I wasn't struck by lightning. Why? I don't know, frankly. 
Oh, that ex extends my hitbox. That's actually kind of interesting downside to that attack. <laughs> so stuff like that can happen. You know what I say to that? Oh, well. Alright, fair enough. Man, you're not playing around anymore. I understand. I understand. This fight requires effort. There's an honorable fight between overpowered Digimon. One of which has absurdly oversized hitboxes. Like that, and attacks that I'm not trying to do that increase my hitbox size as well. Half the time I was actually getting hit in that, during that fight while doing that damn spin attack, I wasn't actually trying to do it. It's something that I found happens a lot with this particular fight, and I'm doing that down special a lot more than I intend to. I don't know how it happens that, but almost every time I have some kind of attack that horribly renders my mobility useless in a fight, I end up using it constantly by accident. I use it I just gave Borom on a lot, by accident. I also notice the same thing happens with my neutral special when I have other characters that can't move at all during their neutral specials. See? That's fine with honor. Can I do this? Are we? Oh! Dramatic lightning match. You gonna try? Do you need to try? Do you want to try? No, you don't. Now, see if I actually try, Dioboromon's a little bit more effective. So I'm just been playing around with Dioboromon this entire time because it's fun. But if I get kind of bored and really want to actually dish it out a little bit, that's part of the fun thing with these guys. They're all fun. It's basically, they're powerful enough so you can just toy with everyone. If you decide to stop toying with everyone, it's over pretty darn quickly. You ugly thing, you, Dioboromon. Oh, amazing. Yep, yeah, I know, you stretch. Go away, please. Please fade it back, I don't want to see you anymore. That'll be the last we see of Dormoron ever in this game. That being... Happily enough. So, I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Next episode of... Overpowered Digimon and Digimon World Volume 2. Next time we'll play the game as Omnimon. Then we just... Got annoyed fighting. Omnimon's also quite overpowered. I, it's really the same story with all these guys. They're just overpowered in different ways. It's probably Dustmon to be frank, but... These two are also fun in their own ways. Probably say Omimon and Dustmon my favorite. My Omiyotospawn my Omiyoto spawn is also interesting, it's just it takes a little bit more not necessarily effort, but you need to know what Mio Minos Mio Miotospawn can do. Anyways, see you guys next time, next episode where you play through is this thing. Have fun. Hi guys. More overpowered fun awaits. <laughs>